Hey developers, so welcome back to the second video of this um, tutorial series. So before we begin, we're going to take a look at a quick setup in this video and also take a look at the tool that we're going to make use of to um, create the embedded code editor in the browser. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So inside the code editor now, let's create our file structure or folder structure. Um, first, we'll need an index.html. So let's create that index.html. And we'll need some basic skeleton code in here. So we'll just do the normal Emmet uh, basic skeleton. So I'll name this MDN uh, code editor. And we'll also have a, a lib folder or library folder to contain our CSS and JavaScript files. So inside the lib, we'll create another folder with CSS and another one with uh, JavaScript. And inside the CSS folder, we're going to have a file called editor-styles.css. And inside the JavaScript one, we'll just have a plain uh, editor.js file, which will contain the custom code for um, our editors, editor. So let's link these now. We'll link this with so CSS will link with the link tag. And we can find this in the lib CSS and editor styles.css. Now for the script one, we'll do a script source and we can find this in the lib slash JavaScript and editor.js. So there's another thing that we'll need to grab here is the tool that we'll be using for this, which is called um, Ace Editor, which allows us to embed the code editor in, in the browser. So if we go and Google uh, the Ace Editor, which I think I've already done right here, you can just Google Ace Editor and this will be the first link. Uh, you can see here that it's essentially just a code editor ri written in JavaScript that you can embed in your browser. So just a note here, um, there are multiple libraries like this out there. For example, there's Code Mirror or Monaco Editor. But for this video and this video series, I've chosen to go with Ace because it's what I've used in my custom code editor before. And Ace has a lot of great features. It does a lot of themes you have, it comes with and also a lot of language supports. So a little fun fact here as well, um, Ace is actually the primary editor, as far as I know, for the Cloud9 ID right here, which is actually um, AWS Cloud9. So just a little fun fact um, there. Now, the next thing we need to do here is to actually get the files and bring it into our project. So if we go back, if we go into this link here, embedding guide, I'll just zoom in in case you can't see. So if we go into embedding guide, there will be a link that we can get the pre-built version of Ace from this link right here. And we'll just open that up. And once this loads, so we can see here that um, there is multiple different versions of embedding. So the one that we're going to use is this one, source min, just concatenated and minified JavaScript. Uh, I'll leave this in the description so you can look at the differences, but for our purposes, this one will be just fine. So to download it now, we can go into this releases link. And go to the latest version, which is uh, at this current moment, uh, 1.4.11. And if we just click into that, you'll be able to download the source code um, zip right here. So just clicking it, you'll be able to download it. So I've already downloaded this right here. Um, so right here, and I've also extracted it into a folder already. So if I just delete the zip now, uh, one thing we're gonna do now is just to grab that source min that I showed you before. So if we go inside here, uh, inside this folder again, we can see all the source, source min, there's no conflict, these versions but we're going to just grab this one. So inside this, we have all the code that we're going to uh, use. So we just copy this uh, folder and we'll bring it into our, our lib folder right here. 
and I'll wait for this to finish and come back. So let's finish copying and one more thing I'm going to do is add another folder to keep this code in to make it more clearer what it is. It's just large. I'm going to make a new folder called uh, Ace Editor and we'll just drag this folder inside here. Just for us to know that that code is for the Ace Editor only. And now back in our editor, uh, what we need to do now is add some required scripts for Ace. So if we just go uh, required, let's go required ace uh, libraries. So just a script, a couple of script tags here. And we can find this in our lib. Into the, let's say, Oh, the file structure, sorry, the file structure is wrong. So this should be in the JavaScript as well, this ace editor right here. Let's just drag this uh, whole ace editor in the JavaScript file folder, and I'll delete this one up here. So after that now, we can... All right, so that took a little bit to delete. So for now, the file structure is okay. We can do lib, and we can find it in the JavaScript. Ace editor, source min, and the first file we're going to get is the uh, core ace file of ace.js right here. And there's another file that we need, so we'll do another script source tag, and we'll do the lib slash JavaScript JS ace editor. Now we need to get um, the file for the for the language that we want to use. So if you type in mode, mode dash, you can see that there's a whole bunch of different files here for, I guess, each language that we could possibly use. Um, so for this one, we're gonna stick with JavaScript. So if we just type in JavaScript, and there is a JavaScript.js file right here that we will bring in. So that's all for the required scripts right now, um, until we get into more later. But for now, we'll just name this as custom scripts here as well. Uh, cool. So the next part, we can now move on to doing the HTML um, overall structure and then move on to the CSS and getting the code editor to actually show up. So stay tuned for that video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next video.